Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, and yes, my voice is slowly coming back. And of course, I still believe in the Bitcoin revolution, whatever Monaco did to me. <laughs> now, let's quickly jump into some amazing charts, guys. Um, let's start with these over here. Then. This is the four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we can see that we yesterday had that beautiful break over here. The bam bam was indicating that here already with a long. So the long was already given here at these red green candles. We wait for a confirmation of the closing candle above the yellow stepping line. We can see the bam bam crossing the white line. We can see the green appearing. That is when we take that long. Um, you would have taken the long over here maybe a little bit later. And then you would have got out of the long or when we cross that um, yellow stepping line again or when you see the short flag at that point, uh, which would have been a 10% trade. Really nice long on the BAM. We are coming down to that line over here, that dollar line. Often that is a retest. So often when you break out, you come down, you retest and then you take off. Something like that could be in play on the short term. Zooming out to the five day chart, guys. This is every candle is five days. This is the Gaussian channel. On this Gaussian channel, you can see very clearly um, that there was a bottom and that the market is making up its mind at the moment. Previous time we had these Gaussian channels here, it was a very sharp uh, dip, and then bam, we went up directly. And the time before that, we came down indeed. We corrected a little bit and then we went sideways for a very long time. I think that sideways period from, let's say, over here to there was uh, 22 bars. So that's 110 days. So that's, uh, let's say, almost four months sideways before we pulled up again. And the time before that, when we reached the bottom, from that bottom, the sideways period was also 50 bars, 250 days. So... These side width periods, they can be very boring and very long. Still, you can trade a little bit, but it becomes difficult because there is less volatility. So let's see. Will we see another dip uh, that will be around 40% or will we keep this 34% dip as the dip on the five-day chart? And we will go sideways from here. Now, <clears throat> zooming out a little bit more to the weekly. That's like every calendar is a week. Um, I've, been, I've made the chart for a long time ago. I should change that one to 9 because we had nine weekly red candles, and now this green one is forming. Now, these yellow lines, I know this is uh, look like the sea or waves or whatever, but these are, in my opinion, the uh, possibilities. So, yes, we could go from here, slowly build up to that red line, that trend line coming down, and that is around 35k, and then find resistance, and come back to that green line, for example, that dotted trend line that is all the way from 2013, and then break out of that pattern, that downward pattern, and create a lower high, around like 37 or something. Now, or that, or we find resistance over there, and we come down to that other green line, to the 30K again. Or from here, we break now down to that dotted red line of 200 weekly moving average. These possibilities are all in, um, I'm, all, I'm watching at all of these possibilities. So for me, it doesn't matter which one happens, it, happen, uh, it matters which one you will trade. So when you get a confirmation of one of these, you trade it, that's how you do it. Now, then we go zooming out a little bit more to the monthly. Mm. The monthly um, looking very nice. We are still um, around that bottom of the logarithmic growth curve, just like we were here. We can always uh, come back from that bottom of the logarithmic growth curve like we did here. Let's put it to automatically that we did over here. Every time when we reach those bottoms of the logarithmic growth curve, we come back. We reach the bottoms, we come back. We reach the bottom, we come back. We reach the bottom, we come back. We reach the bottom. Now, what is going to happen? Are we going to come back again soon? Or are we going to go sideways and then come back? All possibilities, but the bottom is close. So, or we are at the bottom or we still need to make a bottom around that 200 weekly moving average, but that is increasing with $500 every week, uh, every month, sorry. So that would be around 30, 23K uh, end of June or something. Now, let's see. Um, I have some more amazing charts for you guys that are these. Yes, this is the first one. 
can see where my face is over there. Um, I will put it in here. <coughs> Keeping it short because my voice still needs some recovery, guys. But this chart is a very interesting one. This one is from the rational route. You can see on the bottom the realized loss gap. And every time when we come at these peaks, the peaks of the realized loss, um, that happens, but mostly it happens around the start of that bear market, you see, or that COVID crash over there. Um, so, is this the start of the bear market? Um, or is this just another crash like that COVID crash? Um, does it matter? You look at the chart, you can see every time that we come near these, this dotted, dotted line over there, and we create this peak, what does happen with the price afterwards? After this circle, this peak, the price went up. After this peak, the price went up. After these two peaks, the price went up. So what will happen after this piece? Uh, this, <laughs> what will happen after this one? Um, I believe the price will go up. So next chart, this one is very interesting as well. Um, I found this one in Twitter. Uh, I cut off the head of the guys who tweeted it. Sorry for that. I will uh, give you credits another time. Um, this one is showing that the purpose Bitcoin ETF holdings in Canada um, has been buying Bitcoin the last couple of days. On Wednesday, they bought 750 Bitcoins. On Thursday, 2,000 Bitcoins. Friday, eight, uh, 1,800 Bitcoins. Monday, 6. And Tuesday, again, 2.7K Bitcoins. So... The spot ETFs, they are adding Bitcoins. Now, if you look at the chart, every time when they are adding Bitcoins, this period, we see a pump after that. And yes, the price kept going down, but every time when they add a little bit more Bitcoins, you see this price slightly pumping. So, look, the price has been dumping, they are adding, and the price is coming slowly up again. So, they have now 43.7k Bitcoins under management, which is, of course, really positive, as I believe that these um, institutional investors won't dump Bitcoin as fast as retail investors. Now, next chart. <coughs> yes, I still have a call, guys. And no, it's not that stupid flu that you're talking or thinking about now. <laughs> next chart. Um, the chart that is very important to me is telling you that whenever you hold Bitcoin, you're making profit. So we are talking about a four-year compound annual growth rate, which means if you held Bitcoin from 2012 to 2016, annually your Bitcoin capital grew with 235% if you express it in dollars. And if you did it from here to 2017, it was 52%. And here it was 146, 72, 170, 86, 178. All these years, Bitcoin uh, is making profit for you. So here at the moment, 2018 to 2022, we only had a 43% uh, profit every year. Profit every year. So how do you calculate this? 7,510 plus 43%. Then that result again, plus 43%. Then that result again, plus 43%. And then that result, plus 43%, you get 31,700. Which, of course, is massive if you have inflation of 10% or 3%, but your capital grows at 43%, you don't have inflation. For you, it's still deflation. Life is getting cheaper. Very important job, guys. And if you don't care about the price, then do care about the fundamentals, guys. Because the fundamentals of Bitcoin, they are as well, way better than the fundamentals of any other asset out there. And that is what we all know. And that is also what we can see over here in this beautiful chart. Um, I found it on VJ's uh, Twitter, I think. Look, it's durable. Yes, a little bit less durable than in gold at the moment, but we don't know for sure. Fiat is bad. Now, portable, A+, plus. fungible, B, verifiable, A+, plus. divisible, B, E+, plus. scars, A+, plus. established history, not that many yet, but that will improve in the coming years, standard resistance, A. We see all these A's, while on the others, we see more B and C's, so that is very clear that Bitcoin is way better. Now, one more thing, a very short thing, guys, 
is this thing over here um, if you in the last couple of months did one of these things was an optimism user uh, a DAO voter so if you vote on other DAOs a multi-six signer uh, if you donated or if you priced out of ethereum one of these guys then it is very important that you take a look at my latest tweet because in this tweet i told you if you did one of those things you can claim free optimism airdrop um, and, and these claims are ranging between $500 and $7,500, which I have seen. I claim $2,000 US dollar of OP, uh, Optimism Airdrop. Um, it's OP. This is, is the, uh, the ticker is OP. Uh, the name is Optimism. If you want to check it, go to my tweet and then just check it by clicking this link. And if you click that link, you will just get to the website and you connect your wallet. And then it tells you if you are able to uh, claim those free tokens. They are around a dollar at the moment. So for me... Uh, claiming 2,000 of them was really easy because I did uh, vote as a DAO voter and I did uh, manage a multi-sig wallet. So if you do that, then you send those OPs to Bybit because they already listed that pair. Um, there, by clicking, of course, this link because then you get a $4,100 bonus. And at the same time, you can join the 50K prize pool because if you uh, send a minimum of 200 OP to Bybit, then you can join the Price pool of 50,000 USDT. Now, that was really everything for today. Um, yes, it was. Yes, so that was everything for today. Yes, a little bit of short video. Um, and yes, again, behind the laptop because I need to uh, recover a little bit more before I go walking outside all over the world here again. Uh, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and leave a comment. And of course, use all the links down below my video. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow again. Yes, bam.